All right, so uh, I'm gonna start my presentation. I'm gonna introduce you in TAS. Uh, for those that were not here yesterday, and INTAS is the Ingolstadt traffic scenario for SUMO. Uh, here is the outline of my presentation. So I'm going to shortly give the motivations of the research. And then I, I will introduce INTAS as itself with the methodology uh, we use it to develop it. And uh, in the end, conclusions and future work. So. Among the motivations is uh, to develop a realistic traffic scenario for Vanet's applications based on Ingolstadt city, which runs 24 hours. So considering an entire day due to city's characteristics and also considering buildings, tunnels, under bridges, and under buildings passages uh, as they impact the car to X communication. Another motivation is to develop or to pro provide a new and partly different scenario to the community research. And our research gap are the validation with real traffic numbers, simulation of a real traffic light system, uh, companies or a city where companies work in 24 hours and three shift operation model, high vehicles usage rate. Uh, there's the, the point for Ingolstadt when it's compared with other Germany uh, cities and a high income traffic to the city, which represents here in Ingolstadt 44% of the daily traffic. So uh, the, the scenario development is divided into four main areas, more main course that are the map creation, traffic demand development, simulation and the validation. So start with the map creation. We use it, the database from OpenStreetMap. So in OpenStreetMap, we selected the desired board for uh, our scenario for Intas. And as you can see here, there are some villages that belongs to Ingolstadt, but they are not inside of our scenario. But uh, because uh, their in and traffic is not relevant for this research, however, the traffic between these villages and the main core of Ingolstadt was uh, modeled, uh, modeled, and uh, we but we use it uh, in the next step, and I'm going to explain you how we did that later. So, the first time we imported the data from OpenStreetMap. It's represented here in the figure one. And uh, when we compared this result with the Google Maps uh, satellite view on figure two here, we saw that some streets are not realistic. So the number of lanes were not realistic and the connection of the lanes are also not realistic. And we compared all the city uh, using the Google Maps and uh, in the figure three is the result for this area here represented in the first two pictures. Uh, and then we also considering in the map creation, the city elements, which are traffic light position. So together with the traffic management office from Ingolstadt, they, they gave us the actual stand of uh, the old traffic lights where they are placed and we could update this information on OpenStreetMap. And as the same with the company that manages the, the public transportation here in Ingolstadt. So they provided us the actual position of the bus stations and we consider them all inside of the, in, our, our scenario and the buildings. Uh, we just imported them from the open script map and no more work has been done on it. So the next step to develop uh, uh, Intas was to define the traffic demand modeling and to, to, to present that, I would like to introduce a little bit of uh, the structure of Ingolstadt. So the city is divided into 12 areas or main areas and each area is divided into sub sub areas, and uh, for each sub area, we had access to uh, detailed demographic data, uh, the number of registered vehicles, number of work positions, and workers that live in these areas, and then 
we applied the Zumo activity gen. So together with the previously information, we added opening and closing hours from the companies around the city. We used average values for streets. Uh, here, I mean the av average values for work positions and population. So every edge or every street in, in, a, in a sub area has the same value for work position and population. Uh, and here, the city gates is the point where we consider the traffic from uh, uh, in coming or outgoing traffic from the villages, but not only from the villages, but also from the surrounding cities in, uh, in Ingolstadt. And we also consider the schools as kindergartens, high schools and universities with their number of uh, students open and closing hours. And uh, so after that, we had information from as uh, also have information from the traffic management office from 20 traffic light systems and we could simulate them as they are real deployed on real life on the traffic lights so here is the step where, where we simulated them into into our scenario and uh, after that we created a first uh, road file using dual router and had, it has been observed that uh, the traffic didn't have uh, realistic behavior because all the vehicles were taking the same path to reach their destination. And uh, to solve this issue, we, we, work, we work into a direction to work with the to dynamic user equilibrium. And uh, for that, we went through Dua Iterate. And uh, when we did that, we considered three different variables. One of them is the average speed. And uh, we see here in this picture is the average speed for the scenario. And in the first iterations, it was expect an unexpected behavior is observed where the average, average speed decreases instead of increase. So it reached a minimum value and then uh, it uh, increases up to uh, equilibrium points. So the second variable we took into consideration is the average travel time of uh, the scenario. And uh, as the first one, the average speed, we see like here an, an unexpected behavior, the average time grows and then goes down and then uh, reach at an equilibrium point. And the same from the time loss. So after we observed this, these three variables, we decided to work with the iteration number 25 to keep developing this scenario. So we took the road file from the iteration 25. And uh, after that, we inserted the public transport system roads. Uh, so we, we had access to the roads uh, of the every bus that has a start or end point inside of the scenario has been considered. So here it's a shortly presentation of the real traffic data we use it to develop the next two steps. So we had access to a database with traffic numbers from September 3rd until December 15th from 2019. And uh, this database consists in 24 measurement points during 24 hours. And each point summed up the number of vehicles who drove through this, these areas every, in every 15 minutes. This information is computed by detectors, placed on the street, and also validated with cameras. But this information was not developed by us, uh, but it was um, provided from the traffic management office. So inside of all this database, we consider only Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, as they are the heaviest traffic days in the city. And from these three weekdays, we excluded holidays and days before holidays, because holidays, it's the behavior or the traffic behavior, it seems like a weekend and uh, the day before holidays, they behave as uh, Friday. And then from this information, 
we created two data sets, one to define a simulation parameter, which is based on October, October 2019. And uh, the second data set uh, we use it for the scenario validation and it's based on November 2019. So then we go to the third step, it's simulation. And uh, the simulation we defined on the configuration file, we defined the best device routing probability. And for that, we compare the first data set with the simulation output, uh, applying normalized the root mean square error. And to do that, we implemented A1 detectors or SUMO A1 detectors as close as they are placed on the real life. And uh, when, when we compare both uh, traces, we see that the best devi device rerouting probability value is from the 0 0.82. Another point here that we uh, we we look at into is the into the, the the configuration file is the step length that we use at a value of 0.1, and then we reduce the buffer or the number of the vehicles in the buffer that was going to enter in the on the simulation, and also we reduce the jamming. And then here is the behavior with the device rerouting probability and the error when we compare the 24 points to this step on the simulation. And we can see here that the lowest error or the best fit for our simulation is the point 82. And then here is uh, one of the main results of our research. It is the number of vehicles running on the simulation during the day. So we can observe that the first peak or the morning peak starts right before uh, 4 a.m. And it it's, uh, represents the first shift that starts around that time. And then it starts the first peak or the morning peak where around that reaches a uh, highest uh, value of 2,600 vehicles around 8 a.m. And then we see another behavior here around 2 p.m. which represents the shift change between the first and the second shift. And then the highest uh, peak is the afternoon peak with, with almost 3,000 vehicles running on the simulation. And then after that, the number of vehicles decreases until the end of the day. So the validations method we use it to compare the simulation. We use it the second data set we created before and we applied the NRMC and CE for that. And then we got a value of 0.33 for the 24 measurement points. And this picture here, we compared the both traces in this 24 measurement points where we have like in the blue, the simulation trace and in red, the real traffic trace. So this uh, mismatch between both traces represent our errors. And uh, as expected, the afternoon peak uh, should it be higher than the morning peak and it's lower than the morning peak. And here is the highest error that we have on our scenario right now. So then I go to the conclusions and the future work. So Intas cooperates to the, to the development of new Vanets applications. And it is the first scenario or realistic traffic scenario to simulate real traffic light systems. And uh, as soon it will represent one of the first cities on the world where Venets will be available. Uh, as this project is uh, part of ongoing project, it is to have future works to work to, to do and to improve. And one of them is to improve the error value rate we are working to simulate all the traffic light system around the city, and we will add pedestrian flow and different means of transports as bicycle and motorcycles. So thank you very much for your attention and here's my contact.